in order to go to Mars, you need to have reusable rockets. That's what he's developed. No one else has been able to have a rocket you can fly over and over and over again. Will Elon Musk finally unveil his secret moon base made entirely of Dogecoin? Will SpaceX launch the first ever zero gravity coffee shop serving cosmic lattes? And most importantly, will Ron Barron's financial predictions make us all billionaires by 2030? Stay tuned, you guys. The private space company SpaceX has captivated the public imagination with its visionary founder Elon Musk and trailblazing technology enabling reusable rockets. While SpaceX remains privately held for now, its investor and mutual fund manager Ron Barron predicts the company will eventually go public in the next few years, likely around 2027. In a recent interview, Barron laid out the reasons why he believes SpaceX has a bright future ahead and will decide to list its shares publicly. From SpaceX's innovative reusable rocket technology to its Starlink satellite internet project and massive market opportunity, Barron makes a compelling case for the company's long-term growth prospects. However, SpaceX also faces challenges and uncertainties, especially around competition and government regulation that could impact its path to an IPO. By analyzing Barron's discussion of why SpaceX will go public and the key factors driving its business, we can gain critical insights into this pioneering company's strategy and what the future may hold. What exactly is the mission of this? To understand SpaceX's motivations, we must first examine its founding mission. As Barron relates, Elon Musk started SpaceX with the visionary goal of colonizing Mars. To make the economics of traveling to Mars viable, Musk realized that rockets needed to be reusable rather than expendable. No company at the time had succeeded at creating reusable orbital rockets that could be flown repeatedly with minimal refurbishment between flights. Mastering reusable rocket technology would dramatically lower the cost of space launches by preventing the need to build a new expensive rocket for each launch. With robust, rapidly reusable rockets, the economics of settling in Mars would start to make sense. This key insight by Musk was the genesis of SpaceX. Once SpaceX began successfully demonstrating reusable rocket technology and significantly lowering launch costs, the possibilities expanded far beyond just Mars. Other private companies and government agencies became keenly interested in buying affordable launch services from SpaceX. Its reusable Falcon 9 rockets have now completed over 160 successful launches. As Barron puts it, SpaceX has built the railroad to space, opening up access for many players. While Mars remains the ultimate destination, building a profitable space railroad became an achievable near-term business. Did any new opportunities emerge? A huge new opportunity emerged out of SpaceX's reusable rocket infrastructure, providing broadband internet globally from space through a constellation of satellites called Starlink. Barron explains that by leveraging its rockets to cheaply and frequently launch satellites, SpaceX can solve the prohibitively high cost challenge that has plagued previous satellite internet ventures. Launching thousands of satellites on reusable rockets brings down costs dramatically. No other company currently has this capability. Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs project Starlink could generate over $1.2 trillion per year in revenue if successful, a massive figure. There's tremendous demand around the world for affordable, ubiquitous broadband access. Government initiatives to expand rural access, such as the billions in federal infrastructure funding Barron refers to, further underscore the market needs. Starlink aims to leapfrog terrestrial internet infrastructure by beaming broadband globally from space, a plan well suited to capitalize on SpaceX's strengths. As the first and only company positioned to make satellite broadband financially viable, SpaceX has a tremendous first mover advantage with Starlink. A chief concern regarding SpaceX is competition both from other private space companies and national programs like those of China. Barron acknowledges these competitive forces but argues SpaceX's technological head start gives it a clear edge. No other private launch provider has yet succeeded in creating functional reusable rockets which Barron identifies as the linchpin innovation. Launching payloads on fully reusable first stages reduces cost by over 60% compared to expendable rockets, providing SpaceX with a major advantage. Legacy aerospace firms like Boeing and Lockheed Martin are struggling to catch up. Upstart launch companies have fared no better so far. For instance, small rocket builder Astra essentially failed in its first two dozen attempts to reach orbit. 
Rocket Lab, while successful, hasn't demonstrated reusability. Amazon's Project Kuiper satellite internet constellation doesn't yet have an operational launch capability and remains years behind SpaceX. What do they say about China's National Space Program? China's National Space Program represents a formidable competitor but is also behind reusability. The most realistic threat would come if China copies SpaceX's technology outright. However, SpaceX's decade-plus head start on iterative design experience provides a meaningful edge. By the time China manages to replicate SpaceX's accomplishment, Starlink will likely be firmly established. Barron admits regulation does pose a risk if SpaceX achieves an effective monopoly on affordable launch capability and Starlink Internet. There are concerns about national security, availability of government missions, and pricing. SpaceX already won a court challenge alleging it was monopolizing Pentagon launch contracts. More stringent SpaceX regulations could emerge, for example, requiring the company to share its reusable rocket and satellite broadband IP with competitors. However, Barron considers this unlikely in the near future given SpaceX's clear advantages. No company is close to replicating its accomplishment. Looking ahead, Barron estimates SpaceX's valuation could multiply to $250 to $500 billion within this decade based on projected growth in launch services and Starlink broadband. By capturing a dominant share of the massive TEMs in its target market, SpaceX can scale revenues massively despite dropping prices due to reusability. Barron also notes that SpaceX will eventually vertically separate the launch and satellite broadband businesses to maximize value. With a rosy growth outlook, the company will be propelled toward an IPO as some early investors seek liquidity. This includes employees holding back stock options. SpaceX will also need to raise substantial additional capital to fund expansion which will be easier from public markets. The company will also use stock as an acquisition currency. An IPO will also allow Musk to monetize part of his controlling stake to fund his Martian ambitions. All signs point to SpaceX reaching a scale too large for the private market by the late 2020s. With strong top-line growth and improving unit economics from reusability, SpaceX will be primed to tell its story to public investors. While SpaceX enjoys clear leadership for now, it must continue aggressively innovating. Complacency or distractions from Musk's other ventures could also pose threats. Maintaining corporate focus and engineering excellence will be critical as competition inevitably arises. And that's a wrap on our cosmic journey with Ron Barron. Don't miss out on future financial frontiers. Subscribe for more mind-bending insights. Remember, the universe is our playground, so keep dreaming big and investing bigger. Until next time, let's keep reaching for the stars together.